The Amazon Chime app provides a meeting window with information and features to keep your meeting productive. This video walks you through the in-app experience. The roster provides at-a-glance information about your meeting attendees. First, how they appear. If they have an Amazon Chime account or provide their name when joining, you see their name. If they dialed in, you see their caller ID phone number. If they were invited but do not have an account, their email address is displayed. Each is listed under a status header so you know who has joined, who else was invited, and more. Let's take a look at what determines status. Attendees who are auto-called are presented with the Meeting Join screen. To let other people in the meeting know you will not be in attendance, choose Decline and your status changes to Declined. If you are running late, choose Running Late and select a number of minutes before Amazon Chime rings you back. Your status is Running Late and Amazon Chime includes a countdown based on the number of minutes selected on the roster. To send a message to meeting attendees, choose Message All and enter text which is displayed in the meeting chat. You are still listed as invited. If you join the meeting and then choose leave, your status is left. When your connection to the call is weak and you disconnect, your status is dropped. Knowing who has dropped is helpful. The meeting organizer can pause the meeting if you are needed. On mobile, if your status is dropped, Amazon Chime actively tries to reconnect. If it takes too long to reconnect, Amazon Chime offers you the switch to dial in option and provides a one click option that dials in and enters the meeting ID for you. If your connection is weak, the audio icon by your name turns red. If you notice that your audio connection is frequently turning red or staying red, consider switching to dial in. Choose Settings, then Change Audio, and switch to dial in. Amazon Chime displays the information needed for you to connect to the meeting using the dial in audio option. A volume indicator on the audio icon moves up and down to help you know who is talking, who is picking up background noise, or who is causing echo. To mute the audio on that connection, choose the audio icon of the attendee who is adding unwanted sound. Please note you can mute another attendee, but for privacy reasons, only the attendee can unmute themselves. When you are muted, your audio icon is grayed out with a line through it. When you are using the audio from your computer or the mobile app, your audio icon looks like a microphone. To unmute, choose the audio icon next to your name. If you happen to switch to another application, there is a dialog box that allows you to unmute yourself quickly and join in on the conversation. When you are dialed in, your audio icon looks like a telephone. To unmute, press star 7 on your phone. To unmute if you are using audio from an in-room video conference system, you must use the controls provided with the system. Typically, there is a way to access a keypad. Press star 7 to toggle between mute and unmute. You may realize that someone needed was not invited. Anyone in the meeting can choose Invite Others to add one of their contacts to the meeting. You can also choose Meeting ID at the top of the meeting window, choose Copy Meeting Info, and send an email or IM with the instructions to join. Meeting Chat is also available for everyone on the Amazon Chime app. To send a message to everyone, type it in the text field and press Return to Send. You can share a file with everyone by choosing Attachment or by dragging and dropping it into the chat field. Want to send a private message directly to an attendee while on the call? Choose the person's name to see the options that are available. Depending on how they joined, you might see Mute and Message. Choose Message and Amazon Chime opens a one-on-one -on -one chat window with that person. Users need an Amazon Chime account to be able to participate in chat and chat rooms. When you are sharing your screen, a screen icon is displayed by your name, and an eye is displayed next to the name of everyone that is viewing. The video icon is displayed when you have your camera enabled. Let's finish by talking about ending a meeting. The organizer has the option to end or leave a call. Attendees have the option to leave. Even if an organizer leaves, the meeting can continue. The organizer chooses end and then leave. Their status changes to left. Amazon Chime ends the meeting when no attendees remain on the call. When the organizer wants to end the meeting, they choose End, then End for All. Amazon Chime enables everyone to participate in the meeting and keep it productive.